Hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. It looks like Ohio may be excluding President Biden uh, from the ballots. That's right, because the DNC has decided to go ahead and announce the, officially who their nominee will be uh, in late August, at the end of August. Well, according to the state law in Ohio, it needs to be done before that. And if it isn't, then Biden cannot be on the ballot. And the Democrats are furious. They're looking for ways in order to try to sneak him onto the ballot in Ohio. Isn't it funny how they utilize all of this energy in order to try to prevent Trump from being on the ballot? But them thinking that they're so, so cocky that they could get away with uh, floating against this rule is quite hilarious. And I don't know how they're planning on redeeming this thing uh, because it does not look like they're going to be able to do that because it has to be an official uh, thing that Biden is the nominee of the party. And if it's not official, he cannot be on the ballot in Ohio, which, again, Ohio is a, a, a swing state, as they call it. Trump did win it the last two uh, elections, uh, so it's still pretty considerably red. It would probably still swing for Trump, but this would take Ohio out of play for uh, Joe Biden and the Democrats. So before we dive into today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully, you can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button to 1,500 likes. And if you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, you can check out other videos on this channel by following the uh, links right up on the top there. All right, let's go ahead and dive into what we have here. Coming to us from the Gateway Pundit over here. It says, state officials reject Democrats' illegal plan to sneak Biden's name on the 2024 ballot. That's right. So again, here, this is uh, the state official in Ohio has rejected Democrats' Uh, illegal plan to sneak Biden's name onto the presidential ballot. A lawyer for the leftist party had watched, or excuse me, had wanted the state to accept a provisional certification of Biden and Kamala Harris as candidates. But Attorney General Dave Yost's office found the move simply is not provided by for by law. Instead, the law mandates the Democrat Party to actually certify its president and vice president candidates on or before August 7th, 2024. No alternate process is permitted, the statement said. The problem is that Democrats focused for the last few years in trying to exclude Trump from the 2024 ballot. They overlooked state requirements for certification. Their the convention is officially named Biden as the candidate doesn't happen until the end of August. After the deadlines in Ohio and Alabama will have passed by the time the decision is made. The Ohio state decision said thus, the Secretary of State lacks the authority to accept provisional certifications from the Democrat Party uh, person to the law. The Democrat Party must act actually certify its presidential candidates before August 7th to be placed on the 2024 general election ballot. This could be a huge blow to the Democrat Party in this upcoming election. And of course, there is no other way that they can be put on ballot before August 7th, if they do not certify them, it has to be an official certification after their state, after their convention. And their convention doesn't happen. So either they have to move up their convention to the beginning of August to certify it, or they will not be able to put Biden on the thing. So that means Democrats going to the polls in Ohio would have to essentially write Joe, uh, Joe Biden in. But the problem is with that, they have to write his full name into the ballot box all the way through. So if just somebody says Joe Biden on a thing, well, that won't be counted as, as a, a, a legit vote. And so that is the uh, problem that they're having. So it's almost poetic justice that this is happening to the Democrat Party as they tried to prevent Trump from appearing on ballots across the country. They, and their hubris, overlooked crucial state <clears throat> regulations that will prevent their candidate from showing up on those ballots. Anyway. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys follow me on all my social media. All linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.